Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. Today, I've got two Delmonico ribeye steaks and I'm gonna show you how to get the perfect sear on my Camp Chef pellet grill. Stick around, see how we do it. If you're new here, I'm here to show you the backyard barbecue can be fun and easy. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so that you can keep up with the latest content. Be sure to like the video and write me a comment. Let me know what you think of these Delmonico ribeyes and that sear that I'm about to show you. Now let's get started. We cook a lot of steaks in this house, and I feel that over the past few months we have perfected our reverse sear method. So I'm going to show you today how to do it with two Delmonico ribeye steaks. Why don't you come in here and check it out. So the first thing that I like to do with my steaks is I pat dry them with paper towel. And as you can see, they're already drier on the surface. I take olive oil or avocado oil, and I put eh, a little less than a tablespoon on each steak and rub it in. That acts as a binder, and to be honest with you, if you haven't used olive oil or avocado oil on your steak when you're seasoning it, uh, you haven't lived yet. We don't want to go too crazy. You know, I'll just take that and spread it around with the back side of my spoon here. Move over to this big one. Take off any excess that I might have gotten on here. Before we flip these over, I've got a homemade rub that I've been working on. When it comes to steak rubs, you usually use something a little more coarse than this, but I'm working on perfecting the flavor profile, which I believe that I have, and the next step is gonna be to make this more coarse. But I am going to season this up nice and heavy. And the recipe for this rub will not be in the description. This is something that I'm working on and I'm gonna potentially bottle here soon. Like I said, we've just been working on that flavor profile. Now, because this is a, a pretty fine rub, I'm just gonna take the back side of my spoon and just make sure that that's kind of padded into that oil. It'll help it stick. Wouldn't hurt to do this if you had a, a more coarse rub either. I'm gonna flip these over. We're gonna do the same thing to this side. Steaks are seasoned. We're gonna let them sit here and sweat. We're gonna let that oil and those seasonings soak in. Let's go ahead and get the Camp Chef fired up. I already have some hickory pellets loaded up from the steaks we made the other night. We got plenty in here, so no need to add. Let's go in here and get the grill started up. Get this fired up. Go to menu, we're gonna go set temp. I want this at 200 degrees. And smoke level 10. We want all the smoke we can get. We're in the startup procedure, so for the next six minutes, the grill's gonna get the fire started and get going. You always wanna remember to open the lid on your grill to increase the airflow. We'll see you in six minutes. Camp Chef's up to temperature. Time to get the steaks in. Camp Chef's up to temperature. We gotta to set to 200 degrees, smoke level 10. Steaks are seasoned and ready to go in. Let's do it. Got the steaks down into the Camp Chef at 200 degrees. We're gonna monitor the internal temperature with my Thermapen MK4. We're gonna pull these when they reach 110 degrees. We'll see you then. I'm gonna check on these steaks. Got my Thermapen MK4. I'm looking to get an internal temperature of about 110 degrees. We're looking 95 degrees in this one. 
99-100 in this one. This one is a little bit thinner. Like I said, 110 degrees. I'm looking for a medium to medium rare on these steaks. We just hit 110 degrees on them. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out so that we can get them prepared to sear. All right, let's get in here and get them out. Look at that steak. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, let's get these ready to sear. We're gonna be using the Camp Chef Sidekick today to sear these on my cast iron griddle. Back here, turn the gas on. I'm gonna come over here, press this knob in, and I'm gonna hold it right at that, that wall. You can feel it, let the gas come out. We'll light it. It is going. We're gonna go for a medium to medium high. Let this thing get warmed up while we prepare these steaks. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret when it comes to searing. For years, and when I say years, for years, I have been using mayonnaise on my grilled cheese to get a nice, perfect crust. So today with these steaks, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I've got some Hellman's mayonnaise. We're going to put it on these steaks and get that perfect sear. Now I know, for some of you, this doesn't sound good, but just trust me, just trust me. The first thing that I like to do is lightly just dab the steaks. That's gonna help take any of that excess moisture off the surface. I don't wanna to be too rough though, because I will lose that rub. I'm gonna dab this steak too. Just get a little bit of that excess moisture off the surface. Now I'm gonna take that Hellman's. I'm gonna squirt a little bit on the surface of this steak. I'm gonna take my butter knife here and just lightly spread that around. This one here is gonna need a little bit more. There's something about mayo that makes an awesome crust. And I want you to trust me on this. I know some of you right now are going to say, or have already said, dude, he just ruined a perfectly good steak. The thing that you don't realize is this is a perfect steak. Now you may have noticed that I only put mayonnaise on one side of the steak, and that's on purpose. When I put the steaks on the griddle, I'm gonna put the mayo side down and immediately put some mayo on the other side. I didn't wanna flip this over and lose any of the mayonnaise or the seasoning. So we'll let that Camp Chef griddle get nice and hot, and I'm gonna show you the perfect seared steak. The griddle is nice and hot, and it's time to get these onto the griddle. Like I said, I'm gonna immediately get some mayonnaise onto this other side. All right, I'm gonna flip this one here. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna pull these off here. And look at that, beautiful crust. Look at that. Steaks are done, it is time to cut them. But before we do, I wanna show you something. I'm gonna take my mic off here. I want you to hear. If I take my knife and scrape it here, you can hear a nice, nice texture on those steaks. It's cut into them like butter, like butter. Oh. Look at that perfect, perfect, perfect color there. I'm gonna keep slicing here. Look at that color on that steak. How perfect is that? How perfect is that? Look at that. Let's check this other one here. Let's get a piece right off here. Look at that. That is a perfectly cooked steak. It is time to give this perfect seared ribeye a try. 
Nice and juicy, super tender. I can already tell you it's gonna be amazing. Mm. That is one of the best ways to do a steak. The sear, the crust on that steak, along with the seasoning and just the tenderness, that reverse sear method, and then using mayonnaise on the sidekick with, to sear these, absolutely perfect. I, I gotta try another piece. Mm. Absolutely delicious. That steak is spectacular. That crust is absolutely perfect. And if you want a steak that's that dang good, then you need to follow this method that you saw here at Anderson's Smoke Show. I'll see you next time. Yo, thanks again for watching Anderson Smoke Show. Be sure to subscribe and check out that recommended video. And after that, my Facebook and my Instagram accounts. I'll see you there.